Hello friends. Welcome to my new Java programming tutorial series video. Today, we will discuss, Java 7 new feature, using string literals in switch statements. Moving ahead. Before Java 7, only integers were used in switch statements. The use of string as a valid arguments in switch statements, makes it easy to remove chains of if statements. Multiple if conditions using string can be removed now by switch statements using string. This feature has made code more readable and efficient for Java programmers. The demo code is shown in slide. Moving ahead. A method by the name main. It has a signature as public static void main string args. It takes in an argument of array of string. Java virtual machine search in a class for this main method. This method is the starting point of execution. Moving ahead. Step 3, create a scanner object, say. Scanner scanner, equals, new scanner, by passing into its system.in. In order to use scanner class we have to first import it. Here scanner class will read values from the console which user enters. It takes help of system.in, which is input stream which listens Java console. This input stream helps scanner class to read user inputs from the console. Moving ahead. Step 4, prompt and ask the user about his favorite sports. Create a string variable by name, sports. Using scanner class next line method, take string value entered by user and assign it to sports variable. Moving ahead. Step 5, in order to demonstrate how to use string literals in switch statement. Create a switch statement having a string into it, which decides which case is to be executed. Create two to three cases having string as a switch matcher. Here, we have created three cases with a string as, cricket, football, basketball. All these cases have print statements, which demonstrate which switch condition will get executed. At last there is a default statement, which gets executed if user enters string other than cricket, football, basketball. Moving ahead, let's run this Java program. User is asked to enter his or her favorite sports. Let's take an example, suppose user enters string value as, cricket. It prints, you chose cricket, based on the matching case cricket, and breaks switch. If user enters as rugby as shown in below image. It prints, wrong selection, as no case matched and default block gets executed. So friends, go through this video two to three times so that, Java 7 new feature, using string literals in switch statements concept gets more clear to you. Hope you like this video. Please give one minute to like, share, comment or subscribe my channel, or you can visit my website at www.hubberspot.com.